Yo hey guys, what's up? up? It's your boy, boy, sir, boy. I t mm -hmm. Ghetto shop, you put what I'm saying, give it us. Today I'm with my boy Zenny. Come on, bro. You know? We're gonna hook him up, we're gonna bless him in a fresh cup. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. So what do you want, bro? A low skin phase, bro. A low skin phase. And then, you know, trim the top. Alright. 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 Alright, boom. So as you guys can see, we're parting his hair after we wet him up. You feel what I'm saying? So that it will be easy for us to pretty much cut the, the bottom part of his hair so that we can get that easy blend and the nice blend of the fade. And pretty much so that the top won't bother us while cutting the the bottom part now after looking like a kazan now we are ready to cut and give him a fresh hey no only in get come on stop playing all right now we're just debulking yeah hear me debulking we're using the number three guard we're debulking the sides to make it easy for us to blend one two three all right so it will be easy for us. Just trust me on this. Alright? Just trust me on this. I learned this from 360 GZ fam. Come on. Alright, boom. I don't know why he's smiling. Alright, boom. So now we're gonna come with our trimmers, creating that first guyland. And we're gonna come around the E. And we're just gonna pretty much drop it down. Alright? Not too high. Cause he does want a low fade. So not too high and not too low. Right. Alright, so right now we're gonna come with a number one guard. I would say about two inch, you know, so that it would just pretty much make it easy for us to create our second guideline, which is a number zero uh, guard. So right now we're just pretty much deep bulking again. Alright. So barbering is pretty much just debulking and debulking and debulking until you get the fade. You hear me? All right. Okay. Um. So now we're gonna go with a no guard. Uh. Just pretty much playing with the lever. And we're pretty much blending um, from the the guideline that we created with the number one guard. So now we're just creating a uh, fade, as you guys can see. Look how crispy the blend is going. Though. For real, man. For real, man. Let me put y'all on game, alright? So see how I'm going with my trimmers? Yeah, that's what you want to add that crispy nest. Crispy delicious fade. Look at that fade, fam. Because of that trimmer that I'm using underneath the guideline that I just made to create that crispiness and get rid of the dark spot, alright? That's how you do it. Alright, boom. So now we're gonna go with the number two guard. And we're pretty much debulking again and pretty much creating a softer more guideline because of flicking the wrist. Alright, we're flicking the wrist so that we create a soft guideline and not too harsh and not too hard, right? So that we can come with a half, one and a half guard and just pretty much blend it. Alright, blend it easily. Alright, that's the game. I'm teaching y'all, man. I'm teaching y'all the game, man. Listen, look at that. Now, the thing about my shop is that you know now nah, haircut might not be perfect all right the haircut might not be perfect because i'm not perfect no one's perfect all right 
you're not thinking like that, I don't know what you're expecting. Because if you would think like that, just cut your own hair, fam. But yeah, anyways, I'm here for all the experience of my customers and the, the communication that we are right now. Look at this. Look at this. We are communicating with our hearts and soul, fam. Alright, boom. So we're gonna wet him up again. Alright, look at that fade, though. Fade looking crisp. You feel what I'm saying? So now we're gonna make him look like a French 1890-50. You feel what I'm saying? Gonna make him that 1890-50 haircut so that we can pot it easily in the middle. Yeah, like that. See how I'm teaching him where I'm cutting his hair? Yeah, that's how y'all supposed to do it. You know, y'all not meant to cut it just straight away. Y'all meant to communicate. As I said, communication is the key to success, fam. So now I'm cutting his hair a bit so that, you know, it will not be too long. Alright, boom. So now we're gonna cut his hair just a bit. After that, we're gonna comb it straight down. Alright, look at what I'm doing. Straight down. And then we're pretty much gonna make it even with the guideline that we just created and yeah you will not need to pretty much take more or less because we have already created a guideline for that so now you're just gonna follow that guideline through so that it will be even and nice give y'all some free game all right so i've been asking people right if they love how barbers communicate with them like verbally you feel what i'm saying and how they can relate to the barber itself not too serious and not too annoying and not too loud to the point that it's just unfocused and everything is pretty much messed up on your hair because at the end of the day you just want to sit down there and pretty much get your haircut done but the experience you will leave onto the customer is very very vital all right for their life experiences <coughs> <laughs> Right now we're gonna detail his hair with our scissors, our trimmers, our clippers, and our thinning shears, right? So right now I'm using my scissors, pretty much just making sure that the hair is all even out just because his hair is curly. So you don't really know if the hair is um, even out. And right now I'm just giving him texture as well so that everything is not as you know curly i don't even know if that makes sense but yeah it makes sense in my head so yeah i peep game again okay so right now i'm using my thinning shoes to make sure that the hair on the top of his head is pretty much blended with the hair on the bottom of his head you feel what i'm saying so that it will not just leave a, a hard um a hard hair falling down on his face which we don't want that right because he wants to have a slip back type of rock okay so right now we're just gonna come with our thinning shares to make sure that the shape is all good in the hood Alright, boom so the hair that you are putting on your customer how it looks will carry on to the other people that sees that person because he will eventually go out of the barbershop or something right so what happens in his hair will pretty much reflect on your skills and 
the way you do his hair or other people's hair and that's how you attract customers setting aside the fact that you communicate and have a good connection with the customer itself making sure that everything from head to toe every experience every detail they will they will pretty much be grateful of that and then they will take care of you in the near future so that they will come back come back to you what i'm saying saying you know what i'm saying saying hey anyways that's it for today's video right now i'm just making sure that his lineup is crisp so yeah stay tuned guys thank y'all for watching if you enjoy you better shut up you better not cry because so your boy is in the ghetto shop tonight <laughs> indeed hey he came in looking like a goat he's going home fresh out of the ghetto <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we finish uh, this episode. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't know what to say, man. I see you later, boys. <laughs> That's it for today's episode. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope my boy enjoyed it as well. And. Uh, bro, <laughs>